Hey guys, uh, I'm going to be covering briefly how to repair a 2AZFE, uh, in this case the Toyota Camry motor, 2.4 liter, that has the short block headset issues. Um, so the, the head bolts pull apart, uh, causing you know uh, what seems to be like a head gasket fault, but fluid to be leaking from the front uh, and the rear of the, of the motor. Um, a lot of times when pulling these motors apart, you'll get people that complain about the headsets being stripped. In this case, we actually did have a cylinder, uh, headset that was stripped in the block that we had to drill out. We're going to rotate the crank using uh, the pickup disc. I'm going to go down here, throw the disc onto the crank. Get it nice and seated in the dowels. Okay, we're gonna pull these pistons down. All right, that's good. Now, second, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna clean out these uh, head stud holes. Um, pretty good tool just to have around the shop. Get it on. I know, second, go through, clean off the deck surface. Now, before you get too far into it, um, just for safety, go ahead and get yourself a, a rag and uh, cover up the front opening on the oil pan. Uh, if you're doing this in car, it's really important to take these type of steps uh, to ensure that while you're doing all the drilling that no metal or any t pieces of uh, you know motor enter the oil pan because you don't want it to get sucked up and uh, end up causing permanent engine damage so throw a rag down there and then uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to stuff a rag into like the front portion of the oil pan then I'm going to throw this rag above the crank gear alright now with a uh, your air nozzle, if you have one, um, go through and blow out each of those holes. So we're going to go through and just cover this up and then open up these holes with a little exacto blade. Okay, um, I'm just gonna clean up some of the old head studs and probably use the ones that looked that look pretty decent. Uh, okay, now for this next part, we're gonna set up the the drill jig. You're gonna put this one down. We're just gonna start with this one. Oh, okay, and here's your alignment dowel. All right, so alignment dowel in right here. Cool. That's good. Okay, so get in the old head bolt, put your uh, your head washer on, head stud washer. Okay, uh, these take a tri-square, it's called a tri-square bit, but I'll be using just regular Allen head, uh, 10 mil for this. Just want to snug it down. Okay, and then pull this out. Now your jig is tight. You're aligned. 
All right, now the kit, uh, when you buy it, it comes with this uh, magic tap. And you just, you just wanna put some uh, of this cutting oil on your drill bit. So this kit, they, I don't know if you could tell, but they bird out the tip of this drill so you can't really go past the point where you're supposed to. Uh, so yeah, we're, let's get it going. Supposed to tighten that a little bit. Okay, let's get this out. Once you get past the about like two inch marker, uh, you can remove the guide, this little guy, pull your that set screw back, and you can complete the cut. Okay, so I removed the jig just so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, like I said before, I already pre-measured the this little marking on the ooh, that little orange mark on the drill bit to be like uh, around the four and a quarter mark. And as you can see, you just put the drill in. We're already done with our drilling. It really won't let you eat or burrow in. Like that's it. So you'll feel it when it when it comes to the stop because it's not really gonna cut. So don't force it. Right at this point, you're done. Okay, now once you drill the hole, your your guide, uh, your alignment guide, should be able to fit in. See, this is how pre before it's drilled. This is the most you can get after it's drilled. Fits in pretty damn perfect. Now, you can throw your jig back on. Get your, uh, the drill guide. Throw that guy back in here. Snug it up. I'm just going finger tight. Okay. Get you down. Where at? All right, that's good and tight. You got your drill guide and your alignment pin out. This is tightened. Is the jig is the the guide for the tap. So go ahead, tighten that up, put that in. Now we're gonna tap this. Okay, the kit says your the time search is gonna have to be an inch and a half deep. Okay. So here's the time search. Let's put it at the inch and a half. Down here, that's going to put us roughly at three and a quarter. So this is how deep it's going to have to be. This is the tap. I'll put a little bit of oil. And we're just going to use an 11 millimeter socket for this. Uh, 12 point. Okay, see, you want to get all this out. So blow it off your tap. And blow it out of that hole. Ooh! Okay, now with the tap that's clean again, a little bit more cutting oil on there, just a bit. Okay, you could get it back in there. Cool, we've caught. You can thread it in by hand. You can feel it once it catches. You're gonna want to do that process a couple times through this. You don't want to just hit it in one shot. Um, okay, so we've 
maxed out. Now we're gonna take off our guide. I wanna test out the new time cert after you get this thing fully tapped. So pull this off and just set it aside. All right. Clean up your work area. You can see it's the threads have started. Okay, so now we're gonna swap. We're gonna switch over to our uh, quad flute, flute, fluke, flute. Okay, so I made a marking um, to right here at the point where our taper ends. It's about three, you know, three, three and a quarter mark. Kind of ends right here. So I made a little mark how deep we need to tap, and that's about a quarter of an inch. Okay, that quad flute. You see the mark right there? But yeah, that's pretty much how deep we're gonna have to tap in. Now the kit comes with this cool tool right here to bring your time suit in, this little T-handle. For this first fit up, you just want to, you know, you don't want to put red Loctite on yet because we're still not sure if this is going to be deep enough. So now that our hole is tapped, run this down and we're just going to do a dry fit. We're just going to run it down until it stops. Hopefully we didn't go in too deep. If we did, oops. Should be okay. Let's pull this out. Let's take our measurements. And it said, instruction state, uh, we're looking for an inch and a half deep. All right, so inch. Inch and, we're just shy of inch and a half. Uh, it's it's almost perfectly inch and a half. Okay, I think that'll do. Pretty much inch and a half. We're gonna go about a half inch down into the hole. Get a couple drops of red lock. So we're gonna squeeze a little bit. You don't gotta squeeze much. This is to see. That's how much. That's all it takes. Just a little tap, about half inch down. Okay, a little bit of red Loctite there. And then take your thread insert, or your time insert, and then just run a little bit of Loctite. As you thread it, it'll spread. You wanna make sure that you don't get any of this on the inside. Okay, there you go, put that there. You know, you should be wearing gloves, but I'm just gonna yeah, there you go. Make sure the correct side is facing up. Start your threading. Thread all the way down as far as you can with your fingers. Then you're gonna take your tool, get it all the way in. Just keep going, keep going. Remember you're almost inch and a half deep that you wanna get in on this. Take your little T-handle tool, thread it all the way until you feel it stop. It should be getting there pretty soon. Okay, it stopped. Give it a little snug. And you're done. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Make your own measurements, you know, work nice and slow, do clean work.
you know, take your time. It's very easy to, to use the the NS300L, contact them, fix your engine right, you know, and good luck.